Live, this is 8 News Now, Weekend Edition. Thanks for sticking with us here at 630. Supporting our soldiers, that's the goal of a new nonprofit providing special activities and counseling on Mount Charleston for military members. This comes just days after they come home. Reporter Orko Mana introduces us to Vet Reach, an story you'll only see here on 8 News Now. We've all suffered from some things that were not addressed. Helping our nation's heroes is a personal project for this team of three. Sharon Walling's first husband served in the Vietnam War. He's just not here anymore. But took his own life years after coming home. His death is part of a startling statistic for U.S. veterans. 20 times a day it happens to other people, to young people, 18 to 34 year olds are the ones that are taking their lives more often now. That's why Walling and her friends Rich and Stacy Lopez started VetReach. It's a nonprofit hoping to provide a stress-free program for military members and their families at the retreat on Charleston Peak as soon as they return to the states. It's completely free and will include a variety of activities including hiking and even horseback riding. We can make this better. Rich Lopez served in Iraq until 2006. He's experienced firsthand the hardships of readjusting to civilian life. He says the most important part of VetReach is the counseling. We talk about some of the things that veterans may experience coming home, help them to see what those circumstances are and when to reach out to each other for help and when to reach out for professional help. Staff here at the retreat on Charleston Peak say they're thrilled to be involved with VetReach and they're hoping they can make a difference in our community. Whether they are coming directly from war or directly from a place um, that has changed them, um, we hope to be a place that can be a little familiar, um, a little feeling of home. A home and a family Walling hopes can make a difference. Ultimately, the goal is to preclude any kind of self-harm or suicide. Orko Mana, 8 News Now. And that reach relies on private donations and will also be looking for federal grant money. They hope to officially start their program by the end of this summer. For more information, head over to our website, lasvegasnow.com.